Hey, what's up YouTube? So I finally, finally got my first pair of off-whites. Stay tuned, you're not gonna wanna miss this. Today we're unboxing the off-white Jordan 5 in the muslin colorway. Retail was $220 and unfortunately I did not acquire these at retail price. I got my pair from the various resale markets that are out there. In this case, StockX. This sneaker features the signature off-white zip tie, transparent overlays, and circular cutouts differentiating it from the original Jordan 5. These circular cutouts even transfer over to the packaging. Additionally, in this iteration, the padding in the collar has been removed and the sole has been aged from its clear transparent to give off a yellowish overtone. But staying true to the OG fashion, the reflective tongue remains. So now that we've got a good look at them, let's see what they look like on foot. So I went with a nine and a half in these and they fit true to size, but with the removal of the padding and the collar, the five actually fits more like a Jordan one. And I'm a huge fan of Jordan ones. Only thing is that the tongue is still just as wide as it is on the five. So it kind of pokes out a little bit, but it, going forward, I'll probably lace these up a little bit higher, maybe one notch higher, just to kind of keep that tongue in check so it doesn't flare out too, too much. Because since they've removed the padding, it's really a much sleeker silhouette than the previous Jordan 5 iterations. So as I said in the beginning of the video, this is my first pair of off-whites. And like many of you out there, I honestly thought I would never own a pair. I'd taken L's on raffles, you know, Nike sneakers wasn't holding me down. It was, it was tough. It was tough. And so finally I was just fed up. I turned my eyes to the reseller markets. I decided to go with StockX and take the risk and pay that fee. Luckily I, I came out, you know, on top. I got my pair, you know, I made sure my pair was verified through other sources in addition to StockX so that I don't feel like I got, you know, got or tried or anything like that. I feel very comfortable with my purchase. This is not an ad for StockX. This is just who I happen to go with. Normally I go with GOAT, uh, but StockX just had the better price at the time. So I sold enough pairs of shoes to make myself feel comfortable with the price that they were going for at the time. And I was actually up for debate on which shoe that I was gonna go for. I really wanted a hype purchase and it was between either these or the Travis Scott sixes. And I'm a big fan of sixes. The six is in the logo for 1991. As you can see, the infrared sixes. I was born in 1991. Sixes came out in 1991. You see the connection. I decided to go with these because the five actually was my first Jordan I spent my own money on. Well, first retro big release that I spent my own money on. I've only had two pairs of Jordans before that five that came out in 2011. The Jordan five is near and dear to my heart because that was the first Jordan I was like, oh man, I want that one. You know, like I remember watching Fresh Prince and had a big influence on my like sneaker love, I guess, because that seeing that Jordan five in that show so frequently in that first season, I was just kind of like, man, this that's a cool shoe. That's a really cool shoe. And I always wanted my hands on a pair. And then in 2011, that finally happened. So that's the significance of me going with the off-white fives, because I really wanted a pair of off-whites for so long. And I just kept missing out, kept missing out, kept missing out, kept missing out. So I had that FOMO, I guess, fear of missing out and I decided to pull the trigger on these for my big purchase of the year. We'll see how the rest of the year goes, but so far this is my big purchase of the year. And I've held several different pairs of fives over the course of the years since that 2011 purchase. And it's nice to get my hands on a pair that is a fresh take on the silhouette versus just the standard Jordan 5. 
On that note, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this video to a close. Do you like Virgil Abloh's take on the Jordan 5? How do you feel about the circular cutouts in the shoe? Are you cutting out the circles like Virgil Abloh? Let me know down in the comments below. If you liked the video, go ahead and leave a like down below. If it's your first time here and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button because I got new videos coming soon. And don't forget to share with your other sneakerhead friends. Until next time, peace.